Hello folks, this is Longshot 1982 with another review. Today I'm going to review the Sideshow Collectibles Spider-Man Comiquette. Uh, I do believe it's uh, people consider it a grail. I, I agree in the sense that it is probably the best portrayal of the character uh, to date. I don't think there is a better one out there. Um, to start off my review, I would like to show you the first appearance, which started it all, with Amazing Fantasy number 15, I believe from 1962, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have the original comic book cover, or own the original comic book, but I do own this, which is a 3D sculpture of the original appearance of Spider-Man. Uh, I picked it up because I wanted the original comic book, but anybody that knows the... Uh, value of that comic book gets a little hard to come by unless you have the price of a Infinity or Jaguar to purchase it. So uh, this is the next best thing because I love sculptures. I picked up a sculpture of the original comic book cover art. So this is it. And here is the Spider-Man Comicette by Sideshow Collectibles. It is the best portray portrayal of Spider-Man, in my opinion. I believe they hit a home run with this. The best part I'm going to start off with is the base. The base of this piece is spectacular. Uh, right over here, it shows you the rafters. It shows you the, the wood paneling, the wood flooring on top, the molding, cracks in the wall, right on the window over here. They have the window sill. That's also shown in, uh, you actually see the grain in the wood here. And in case for the people out there that can't really see too well, um, I know it's uh, the filming, the lighting might be a little off. You have a plug right over here if you'd like to put in the lamp to see a little bit better. So you let me know. Here he is from the side. There's a very dramatic pose here. He looks like he just landed and he's ready to go into another full swing. Maybe he's battling uh, Mr. Rhino over here. After, uh, you know, easily outwitting that moron of a character. Um, everybody loves the rhino, though. Using uh, muscle over brain to make it the basis of every one of his decisions. Now, onto the actual body. This, the musculature is perfect. He, he really looks alive here. He's really ready to just jump out at you and just go into his next web swing. He's he's absolutely awesome. There's nothing about this figure that I could complain about. You know me. Uh, if there's anything I don't like about the piece, I will say it. The hand the the, the hand painting job was absolutely spectacular. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> um, every part about it is perfect. It really goes well with the Spider-Man, um, the uh, the Venom and the, the Carnage comicette. Uh, they're, they're a set, um, but it also goes really well with the Rhino back here, right over here. Uh, I display them separately. Sometimes I keep them together. Sometimes I keep them apart. I usually put at least two or, you know, I usually do it to three. Sometimes, I'll, right now, I've switched out the Rhino. Um, I can switch out the Carnage with the Rhino. But um, all of Spider-Man's villains, um, this is a, a must-have if you're able to get your hands on one for under $1,000. Uh, on the internet, they're going for outlandish amounts of money between $1,200 and $1,500. If you can get your hands on one for about a grand or less, I would say definitely get it. I was fortunate enough to get this when it first was released. I got it as a birthday gift to myself when it was first released. Uh, it came out <laughs> right around my birthday, so I was just like, swear, tell me where to sign. So um, this is one of those pieces that you just keep forever. Uh, it's very easy to assemble. The, there's a pin in the foot right over here, and then it's a little wedge thing on top of here where the fingers are. Uh, it's not the fingers itself that plug into the wall. It's actually this whole piece comes out because uh, the fingers are very delicate, as with most Spider-Man pieces. Anybody out there that has the Spider-Man versus Hulk diorama would know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm very excited over the next three that are coming out uh, from Sideshow. The they're more smaller scale. This is two feet, 24 inches from base to the tip. They're coming out with the new set of the new Spider-Man. It looks very similar to this, except for both of his hands are in full web swinging action. Um, you also have the Gwen Stacy, his original love, and uh, Mary Jane Watson. 
they're both in the they both go together so I'm really excited uh, they're on a smaller scale so they're much easier to display than the trio of Venom Spider-Man and Carnage or Rhino because Rhino is humongous so this might be a lot easier for the people out there who haven't had a chance to get this set yet but want something just as good just as detailed but like I said with the Spider-Man versus Venom diorama they're easier to display so you don't have to really look as hard for places to display. The, the Mary Jane is 11 inches, 11.5. Gwen Stacy's 16 or 17 inches, and the Spider-Man's 18. So it's not that bad. It could be much worse uh, as far as difficulty to display. Uh, the detail is perfect on them. But as of now, this is the best display of Spider-Man I have ever seen. Better than the premium format. Much easier to clean to because it doesn't have a cloth costume. It's all sculpted. Uh, plus, you get the beautiful diorama. The original premium format, I ne necessarily really like 100% because it was very plain. Um, I still love it. Do not think I am uh, knocking it at all because that is a beautiful display of Spider-Man as well, especially the exclusive edition with the uh, with the camera on his neck. Don't ever try to get that that inverted version that they only made 75 of. You probably have to give up your firstborn in order to get your hands on one. Uh, there's other means and uh, better ways to obtain satisfaction than to spend that kind of money. I think they want $2,500 for it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll save that. Thank you. Um, I'm very enthusiastic about this piece. It's probably one of my top three pieces that I love the most. Uh, the next ones that are coming out, I'm very optimistic. They're going to be just as beautiful. I'm hoping that they don't disappoint us as they've been disappointing us with the Batman Premium format and the constant uh, pushing back of the piece. Let's see in March what happens about that particular piece. I'm really antsy to have that piece. I have been since August, since originally I thought they were going to come out with it. But uh, enough about that. Please excuse me for going off on a tangent. Uh, bottom line, if you can get your hands on this, please do. Uh, this is my review of the Spider-Man comic hit by Sideshow Collectibles. Uh, please subscribe to me, and if you would like, and please comment. I want to know what you think. Uh, have a great day, and uh, thank you for your time.